Okay, y'all. So, how y'all doing? Hopefully, y'all having a blessed day. Y'all know where I'm headed to. Check the mailbox. Hopefully, it done ran into something good in there. And if not, hopefully, when it do run, it'll be something good in there. I got what? Two hours before I have to come back again? We started to wait until four to come out here and check it. And where I could be super for sure. Because after four, well, basically five, they can't get in here at five. So whatever they need to live by five is just going to have to stay where it's at. Oh, dude, must ain't got no more trash bags. While he took the trash, I had to dump the trash out the bag into the dumpster and bring the bag back to the house. Trying to salvage that one gigantic trash bag. But yeah, yeah, so, um, I'm just, I don't even know what the hell to talk about. I'm just rambling or whatever. Talk about whatever pops up in my head. This bird here look a hot ass mess. Like some of these feathers is missing. Baby, you okay? You got feathers missing. But yeah, now nah, I'm just looking. Ain't nothing in there. You can see through the little holes, ain't nothing in there. It would be nice if something was in there. Yeah. yeah, I'm gonna go this way to walk around and talk to y'all for a little bit. Yeah, I'm just, yeah, I need to get to planning my next trip. My mini vacation, my mini staycation. Even though I didn't stay, it's just, well, a road trip. That's what it is. I should have like took more pictures than I did and did more videos than I did. But yeah, I'm gonna uh cause I get one more visit and one more trip out there for this month. So I'm probably make that for next week. Call like Monday and I make it for like Friday. Yeah. Don't think this gonna change it change, but like this one is gonna be the time. Should I make it for uh all you gotta do is pull up to it and I'll open back up. Don't back up away from it. But hey. Anyway, mind my own business. But yeah. I get one more for this month and still get a video call. But I'll be glad when they go back to doing two hours. Shit. They go back to doing two. I'm sitting and talking to y'all for a little bit. And I'm going to go back in the house. But when they do go back to doing the two hour thing, I'll be hella happy. Like, driving out there for one hour is just a bit much. But, I, anything for him. Because he would do the same for me. But. The two hour. Driving out there for two hours. Versus driving out there for one hour. You get. Okay this is the one hour here. One hour. It takes an hour to get there. Just driving. From where I live. So from point A to point B. Then you get there for an hour. Then you drive back for an hour. Three hours. All together. Not counting in traffic and stops. And things like that. So that's just three hours. For so two hours, you get drive out there for an hour, you get two hours, and then you come back, take an hour to come back. And that's not including traffic. You get four hours to be gone. This time with traffic, it took me like four, five, six hours to get back. I mean, that traffic was fucking ridiculous. But that was at five o'clock traffic. That's that was. You can't say that was accident because the accident was on the other part of I 45. That was I 45 in Parker. That wasn't I-45 in the Woodlands area or Conroe or anything. They was just going slow for no damn reason in their traffic, too. I say it's for no damn reason. But it was traffic. But like I said, this time, 
I want to make my visit for one. Yeah. Because if I get out, I get off at 11, I can still leave early in the morning and make that for one. Leave this house the same time I did then. That way I got time to go through the back roads. Because I'm going to break my trip up in twos on the way there and back. I just have to pull over, get my GPS together, and then hit the road. Because, yeah. That shit they trying to get back was ridiculous. Because the reception was poor. It, kept, it went down and it wasn't working. Basically, the reception wasn't working at all when I was on my way back. So I couldn't get it when I was there. And then I couldn't get my um, GPS to work. So I'm like, nah. I had to pull up on side of the road when I got further down the road to get the GPS to work. And then that took me way the hell out of the way. I'm trying to get it to take me back from there to the gas station. And then from the gas station, I, can, I needed to get me from the gas station to I-45. I mean, I-45. That's what it took me last time. Give me from the gas station to Texas 75. They give me the 75. Then I can get from 75 here. Well, at least back to uh, Conroe. Once, like I said, once it get me to League Line Road, everything good. So... Once I get back to, when I go in, I'm going in through League Line Road. It's time I keep straight. Y'all forgot the GPS take your ass all the way out the way. Let me go down here. Because it's still too much sun right here. Go stand in my damn shade. This ass hot as hell. I know that. And I ain't even sat on them yet. But yesterday, hot. But anyways, yeah. I'm like, that was hot. That was, that was ridiculous. That had me like hell trying to um, get there. Some kept telling me go down the Line Road because I'm I was gonna have to go down exit Fish Hatchery Road anyway. So when I go down the Line Road, I'm gonna go like I'm going there all the way there and just turn off before I get there. That's exactly how I'm gonna do it. And then break it up into uh separate trips on the way back until I get used to it because hell trying to find another route back man so I know my trip there go straight from here to League Line Road then and come road then turn right I'm just thinking out loud turn right on League Line Road and then while you're on League Line Road get in and turn left on 275 and then go from 75 all the way out to get you eventually to the fish hatchery exit and then you get on to the fish hatchery road and you get there and then get on 19 well get on 19 then exit fish hatchery road then from fish hatchery road hi. Then exit fish hello. Then exit fish hatchery road. Then go up under the freeway. Wait for the light. Go under the freeway, whatever. And then you gonna turn left under the freeway and wait for the light. Then keep straight. Then turn up. Uh, I forgot the name of that street. The number name or number of that street. You are gonna make a left right there. Go up to that gas station on FM nine eighty, and then all the way up until I think that's two thirty or something like that. Then you're going to turn right, right there, and just keep going all the way down to the end of that, where that stop sign is. Then make a left, and go all the way down there. That's where I messed up last time, because I was supposed to turn back down, come back up that road, and I went past it. That would have took me back where I came from. So I went to the sign, because going there, I went towards the sign. Coming back, I passed the sign. I didn't even go in the direction of that sign, because the sign is like right here. When I was going to it, I ran past the sign like that. Going towards the sign. Coming back, I went straight this way. Didn't even turn on the road by the sign. That would have took me back where I came from. But that's okay. I got it. If I got to write it down, I got it. I need to go in here and clip my nails. 
And I will see y'all hopefully later, in about two hours, if I remember to bring my phone back out. I will see y'all guys later. Y'all be safe. It's hot as hell. Stay in the house or stay if you out. Stay cool. Have you some water or something cool to drink with you. Speaking of water, I'm going to go drink my water. I will see y'all guys later. Bye, y'all.